I don't usually like to say you need to play a game a specific way or even play specific missions in the games that I play here on this channel. I like to just show you what I'm having fun doing and talk with chat about what they did differently. But today's side mission is one where if you have not played it, I have to highly recommend it. That mission being for the paralysis. And I just have to go on a little bit about how much I loved the writing for this story, the pacing, the mystery, the implications on the in-game world. For being a side mission that started out so low key, I actually thought about doing it off stream entirely, but I'm glad I didn't because the ending is something completely out of this world. So welcome in, welcome back to my first playthrough of Cyberpunk 2077. So glad you're here. So I can catch you guys up to speed on where we left off. Where we left off was we were about to investigate a mysterious van that was stalking, a whole team of people it seems, was stalking the paralysis. We uncovered this in our last episode and that's what we were gonna do last. But as you can see, I have collected some things to do since then because I've been playing while, over the weekend when we were away. So the first thing is, <clears throat> Judy called us again. And then, holy she wouldn't believe it. Or maybe you would because you've already played this game. I don't know. But I've been playing Beat on the Brat, and I thought that we could maybe finish the final fight together or something. Like after I've trained, we could have a rocky moment together on camera. Well, it seems that maybe that time has come because when I showed up to one of the sites, freaking Ozob was there, who we met, I also think in one of our last episodes, like maybe last uh, time that we were together or maybe the time before. The other thing that I've been doing is slowly going through the map, trying to complete gigs. So let's see, I can refresh you on what I've done here. So Regina Jones, we only have one more mission to do for her. Um, Wakako, we have completed all the missions for her and you may have seen, you eagle-eyed out there, have already seen that we have a mission from her in our journal. So I'll review that really quick and it, the location for that is in our apartment. So we'll, you guys will see what that reward that we get from her is together. So for Ray's, we've done 10 of 11 of his missions. And then Dakota, we only have one more to do for her. And let's see, I don't see Rogue on here. Maybe I'm just missing it. Oh, Sebastian, I guess maybe I, their icons are blending into the street. So maybe I'm missing them or something. But Sebastian's, we've completed all their missions as well. So I think anyways, that this is, that this basically catches you guys up to what we have been doing, where we've been, where we're going. So with that, um, I guess I have to pick out what I actually want to do first. Oh yeah, that's right. We'll collect our reward. The West, wait, what is it? The Westbrook gigs are all done and dusted. Wakako said she has something for you. Wonder what it is. Yet another thinly veiled ex-husband threat story or something you can actually use. Guess we'll find out soon enough. Okay, God, I hope she doesn't actually kill me. What if there's been, okay, this is hilarious. If there's an assassin hiding in the closet, that would be incredible because I've been in my apartment for like three hours picking out new outfits and stuff. All right, no assassin. The. Uh, Open stash, maybe? Oh, here. Bayako is perfectly balanced, allowing to jump the enemy and attack them with full force. Its incredible sharpness increases bleeding chance. And then it has some open melee slots, plus 37 to 45 physical damage and a 30% bleeding chance. Very cool. And then the little description down below that's usually more funny says, spent most of the time collecting dust on Wakako's desk, except for the occasional heated negotiation. Ooh, <laughs> with her husband's. <laughs> okay. So what was I doing now? All right. So now that we've picked up that weapon, we saw what it has in terms of capabilities. Now I think we should go back to the paralysis and look for the surveillance van. Welly, well, 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 well. Special favors for politicians. You think you've got any clout here? The paralysis might seem like a decent down to earth folk not sitting snug in the corpse pockets like the rest, but they're still part of the ruling elite V. If they gotta step over you to get to the top, they won't hesitate. Don't believe even for a second that they're any different. Well, that's quite ominous. And I was really feeling sorry for them when we left them. Like where we left them. Oh, River's calling. Hey, v, you've been feeling all right, I hope. Of course. Why? What's up? 
Just calling to invite you to Joss's for dinner. Oh. I'd love it if you swung by. What do you say? Uh, here I feared you'd forgotten about me. About you? Oh, come on, never. Just been swamped. Randy's still in the hospital. Someone has to keep an eye on the kids when Joss visits him. Relax. Oh. Don't need to explain. Okay. Right. So, gonna stop by or gonna make me grovel? Um, yeah, I'm looking- I hope that maybe we can see the nephew sometime. Okay, so here's the thing, fam. River Ward's calling us up because... Maybe you picked this up. He was pretty subtle about it, but he's flirting with us, okay? <laughs> he's flirting with us. I don't know if I really want to romance River, because if Judy is still an option, I... I don't know, I think maybe that could be a good romance option. So I'm nervous about going to see him, because I feel like I'm going to have to choose. It's like so rude, but it's true. I feel like uh, this is the first video game where I've actually wanted to pick a romance option. And it's difficult. I feel attached to both of them. It'd be great to see all you guys. Prime. <laughs> Joss will be thrilled. Sounds great. I've missed you, you know. Okay, I don't know. I actually miss you too, River. I'll see you at Joss's. I see you at Joss's. Oh, Rick. Perfect. Till then. Then. Oh no. <laughs> oh wait, I accidentally pressed Z. I'm so used to every time I get a new shard, just automatically pressing Z. Following the river. More like don't go chasing waterfalls, am I right? Okay, let's look for the surveillance fan again. I just, I don't know yet. I don't know. Oh, I I think I like, I don't know. I just, I don't know who I like more at this point. Let's go on over to Metro Japantown, maybe? Now that we've hemmed and hawed over our romance life. Time to get our head back in the game for this investigation that we're about to do. Put on your Sherlock, your Sherlock hats, <laughs> your Sherlock hats, folks. Batten down the hatches. <laughs> I don't know, maybe this romance got me more flustered than I thought. Oh, whoops. I thought there was something for me to pick up, but it's just a drop point. Uh, oh, Ala Booster. Thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. Glad you want to be part of the maze hose. <laughs> every time I... We've gotten significantly faster since the beginning of the game, and now every time I run, I just think about, like, I'm so fast. <laughs> that was a sweet redeem. Oh, don't we miss... Okay, I see a turret up there. Don't we miss, uh, Skippy? Uh, Zartran, you say you will need a vehicle, okay? So, if we need a vehicle, I'm gonna- oh shit. I like this vehicle, the Guinevere. I know that nobody asked, but I think that this vehicle is pretty drivable. I have been driving this, uh, these Colby's. I think any of the Colby's handle pretty well. Just so you guys know, I've purchased every vehicle that I can, I think. So, we got an award for it. I think it's called Carjack. So, I don't know. I'll have this vehicle out and about just in case. I don't know. Should we try doing this with a katana? <laughs> that seems like a stupid idea. I've literally never used a katana to fight in a major mission before. Oh, what are you doing in there? Are you, like, part of the thing? Oh, you're just some dude? Okay. <laughs> All right. My dude, keep on do- Oh. Oh my yes. god. What? I just want to jump on the- Oh. I mean, oh. Here. Now we're up on the roof. Let's turn this off. And uh, I don't know what that did. Look for the surveillance van. Will we see it? Jam-packed with hardware. My optics don't see any manufacturer info or detect any mods. 
They don't mass-produce trucks like those. What are they doing? What are they hiding? Earjacking. Huh. Could be the security firm or government. Media scouting for dirt on the paralysis? Definitely Whoever not your is. ordinary van. Our intruder could we are oh, about shit, to they're driving out. away. Uh, great. I don't know how to follow them through the gate. Was I supposed to drive in there? Oh, don't crap. lose them, V. We're gonna lose oh, them. I can't get into the vehicle. <laughs> we could expose a corporal conspiracy here, V. I'm telling you. They could be corpo spies oh, okay, or who the fuck mind. knows what. Just let me pull out some tricks for the fans, okay? <laughs> but the only thing about this vehicle is that it's way too fucking fast. It is way too goddamn fast. Oh! Oh, no! Maybe if I was more hefty, I could have stopped it? Oh my god. I'm too- Gonna lose him if you don't pick up the pace. Shit. Oh my god, I'm so nervous. We do have a fast vehicle, but they are escaping, I guess. Oh man. Oh man, they're really far away. This vehicle's, this van's got speed. They got a need for speed. If we lose them, I guess we just have to start over. Oh crap. Oh my God, every time I take it. <sighs> I guess that's the only thing about this vehicle is that it's way too fast for me. I need something slower. Oh, it like almost got into a, oh my God. What a travesty. Oh. This is one where I would say, if you're playing on a PC, maybe get a controller for these moments. Oh no. <laughs> Don't hate me. Don't hate me. Oh. Oh. Uh. Oh god. They're this way. They're this way. I mean, god. This vehicle is gonna be scrap metal. Can I just disappear now? <laughs> Please, sir. You look at politicians and see a curated display. Oh my god, Johnny still has stuff to talk about. <laughs> oh, wait. Did they pull over? Maybe I lost them? Oh god. We might have to do this over. Let's call them. We'll see if we have to do it over. V, do you have any news? The perps got away! I'm watching you, that's clear. SSI? But whom for? That, I don't know. They got away. So you have no idea who's behind this, nor why they've been spying on us? Okay, it's fine, I'll reload. <laughs> we have to play that over. We can't let them get away. I'll play with a different vehicle. We can catch them. Uh, all right. She rounds the corner across the fucking sidewalk. Oh no, not the trash. Oh, my shitty blonde ponytail. Oh no, I'm just following the little dot. I feel like I'm even slower now. Oh. Not good, you guys. Not good. Uh, can we go through here? Target range exceeded. The target is escaping. She's escaping! If you pull into the far lane, I swear to God. You look at politicians and see a curated display, but I just have to make this turn. All out war. Citizens don't choose their representatives. Then who? The key players. String pullers. They spy on all the paralysis, look for weak spots. They're Blood taking us in on what's side. So it's canon well, Johnny. How are they still 200 or 125 meters ahead? I feel like we've been going pretty fast. Oh, fuck. 90 meters, 80 meters. Okay, we did it though, somehow. Uh, can I get off the vehicle? Oh, 
Okay. Shit. Shit. Let's breach protocol. Oh, Saber, you say, good job catching up. Please don't get moited. I said I was gonna try and fight them with the katana. We'll see. Mm, we'll see. All right. Let's see, what do we have here? Also, my hands are shaking. Can I curse the vehicle? Let's see, who else do we have around here? Nobody? Oh. Whoa, Christ, mother of pearl. Oopsies, ouch. Oopsies. Who is this? Oh, no. Oh, it's the bath. Come on, dude. Let's come up. Wait, who's the weak link? Okay, what do we have going on here? Oh, how, how do I? Ah, here. I can get to you! The ha! Take that, you piece of shit! Oh, okay, they're upstairs. Got it. No problem. Whoa! Holy shit, what was that? Die. Oh my gosh, there's a lot more red dots. Oh, this is good. I can get all my pent up rage for failing at uh, driving. <laughs> oh, I can't save while in combat. Okay, perfect. All right, perfect. This is good. I don't need to save because I never die. Hmm, they're this way. Come and get it. Come and get it, Maelstrom. Maelstrom and Associates. Ouch. Bet that hurt, didn't it? Yeah, it kind of did, but it's not gonna hurt as much as getting de decapitated, mother. <laughs> oh gosh, these guys. What about narcs? Okay. Let me see here. How do I get up there? Uh, I was trying to see. Maybe. Oh, I know. I'll just. I'll just get him with my uh, psychic powers. Can I see you? Yes, I can. That means you dead. Oh, you dead. Little. This is what happens when they die. They just freeze like that. Uh. Okay. Let's see. There's an. Uh, there's a body out here. Let's pick... What? What is it? Go to sleep, camera. I thought that the enemies are all gone, so now would be like... You know, we wouldn't need them on anymore. Okay, there's the vehicle right there, and I'm still... I still don't want to approach it until I've collected everything that I feel is necessary. Just in case, I don't know, there's something... Like, this is a checkpoint, right? And when we approach the vehicle, then we'll move on to the next checkpoint. That's how video games work. You loot, and then you... Oh! Oh, cool. There's a grenade... Uh, a mine here that I could have turned on. Well, we might as well. Let's initiate friendly mode on this mine. And that will provide us some defense. <laughs> I don't know, in case some new people show up. Let's loot their safe. And... I love how easy safes are to loot in this game. Like, they don't make you hack it again. They're just like, yep, yeah, you approached it. It's already open. Don't even worry about it. People don't, people don't actually... Wait, there's something downstairs? Okay, maybe this is in the next part of the mission. Okay, now I shall hop on the vehicle. Oh my god. And do what? Oh, I can jack into the vehicle. I never ended up scanning it. Jam-packed with hardware. My optics don't see any manufacturer info or detect any mods. They don't mass produce trucks like those. What are they doing? What are they hiding? Earjacking. 
Huh. Could be the security firm or government. Media scouting for dirt on the paralysis. Oh. You know what I'm just realizing is this is like water. It's not like Watergate. It's way crazier. I'm just watching a show on HBO about Watergate right now. And I, so that's why I'm thinking about it. It's not really like it at all. Let's check in here. Let's not dally any longer. We've picked up everything Pierced that we can. Couldn't ask the NCPD for better records than this. Pictures, medical records. Vulnerability to neuroplasticity. It's some kind of database. Brain scans, the paralysis biological casts, neuroplasticity. Fuck. What about that? The blue shit. Fresh neural links. They're not spying on them, Johnny. They're fucking with their heads. You mean to say someone's literally controlling our upstanding politicians' minds? Uh huh. Red blots are memory residue in the hippocampus region. See how they're bleeding into the blue? So what are we looking at? They're planting new memories in their heads, modifying their personalities. Oh, this is big shit, Johnny. Fuck me. Got other guinea pigs besides the paralysis, too. Quick, download the data. Whoever comes looking for it, that's your suspect. Shit! They're wiping the data! <gasps> oh no! We've been made. Now they know someone's been in their database. Wonder if they also know who. Frick. So now there's nothing? Ugh. Okay, well, this area is hostile, so before I call, let me just get my affairs in order here. And by affairs, I mean death and taxes. <laughs> let's, uh, let's call her. Elizabeth Perales. V, do you have any news? Oh, I got news. You're gonna wanna sit down for this. What if they're it's, listening? Like, what if they know? It's way bigger I'm than we thought. Because they're in her. What is? You're being brainwashed. Literally. They've scanned your minds and now using some kind of conditioning to- Wait, not on the hollow. Right, I'll come by. No. I've already said too much. You and I, we need to speak alone. I know a little ramen place in Japantown. Sending you the coordinates. Right. See you there. Damn. I just feel like... I feel like I've said too much. On the phone. They know. They're gonna get her. Uh, let's see. How far away are we? Okay, we're not far from a drop point. I'll go there. If I don't, if I ain't gotta drive, wait. Can we drive the van there? Can we drive the evidence to her? That's a good idea in theory, but they definitely don't intend for us to do that. Nope. Damn it. <laughs> Where is this? Oh, down here. Okay, we've been here before. I'm ready. You ready? Hey. Here she is. Will you sit? I will. Please. Thank you for coming. I like her glasses. Uh, Nix, you say, what, a date? That's right, we're on a date with Elizabeth. Just kidding, it's not a date. Uh, oh, she has an undercut. We've never seen this before. She changed her hair. It's usually like in a very politician style thing she's got going on. Also, I have a pink top that's just like this, but for V, not like me, IRL. Why are we meeting here and not at your pad? Because I have something to confess in private. Not in front of Jeff. Oh, okay. Fuck. Confess away. I... I'm sorry. My nerves are shot. I can't gather my thoughts. Just spit it out. She's betraying us, isn't she? God dang it! Okay, there's still hope. Wasn't that long ago we last met. Something happened since then? No. I mean, something did happen, though not recently. It's been happening. What is that, Elizabeth? It's a long story. I don't quite know how to tell you. Mm -hmm. Where to even start? No rush. I got all day. I'll just wait for my ramen to cool off. Relax. No need to rush. Ah. Uh, uh, a while ago, I started noticing some changes in Jeff's behavior. His personality, 
He seemed to be changing right in front of me, becoming someone else. How so? He stopped reading, forgot the title of his favorite movie. Even his musical taste changed overnight. It seems like they really love each other, though. It's not like they're, I don't know. Once, I said we should visit his brother's grave, and he told me that he'd been an only child. That's when I started thinking something bad was happening. Something insidious. And not just with Jeff. Holy shit. This is, okay, this is really sad. For a second, I thought that she was going to betray us, but... I don't know. It breaks my heart because it sounds like she really loves this man and she's she knows all his favorite stuff and she's keeping track of these things and then all of a sudden he's changing and it's not like she's too busy to notice. It's not like they're this weird corpo couple. Notice any changes in yourself? After some time, on several occasions, my friends pointed out that I was acting strangely. Oh, that must have been hard. It was. You know, it's at times like those you start to question reality. So you knew what I was going to find. So the whole time you knew what I could end up finding. I don't know who, how, or why, but they're changing us. That concealed room in our apartment. What about it? I'm sure I'd seen it before, but must have somehow forgotten. Whoa. This is very like Twin Peaks. I find that terrifying. It is terrifying. Oh my gosh, I wonder if she's gonna accept it. If she's like, will be safe And as... any for your thoughts? Because if you're a certain type of person and you live in a society where corporations sometimes assassinate politicians and things like that, like, would you feel like Someone's changing us. They're molding us into what they think the perfect politician they? is. And because of me? that, we will be safe. They're obviously in control. We will be safe if we just forget, if we just comply. Oh, I don't like thinking about that. Mentioned any of this to Jeff? I tried. I did. But he's blinded to everything. He just laughed, said I was imagining things. He once brought up a vacation that we never went on, swear to God. He went on about it in such detail, I almost started believing him. Could be just you who forgot. Maybe they just wiped the trip from your memory. Hell, I don't know anymore. Don't you get that? And any haven't for your told thoughts? me the whole story yet, have you? I saw a stranger in our apartment one night tinkering with the monitors. But I was in such a state by then that I didn't know if I could trust my own eyes. So you didn't do anything? I don't remember what happened. I talked to security the next morning. Uh, why didn't you tell Jeff and got nothing of it? So Jeff actually shot one of these guys. Oh my god, I forgot about that. Oh, uh, ba 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 ba. And got nothing out Are of it. Let's still say with that. Me? Let me guess. Cams didn't pick anything up. The guy just shrugged and said I must have dreamt it. He showed me the recording, of course. I felt like a lunatic. Oh. And then, the next day, I got a call. Who oh, was yeah? it? Them. Whoever they are. Cease your investigations. There was a garbled voice on the other end. He never introduced himself. What did they say? Oh, did you cut a deal with them? They threatened you? Let's say... Let's ask if they threatened her. They threaten you? Try to blackmail you? They said I was walking on thin ice. That if we kept stirring up trouble, Jeff could have an accident. Oh no! Then they wiped any record of our conversation. It was as if it had never happened. So I'm begging you, V. Jefferson can't find out about any of this. Ever. His life depends on it. Whoa. Oh no. Great. We have to make this decision. Oh gosh. Darn it all. You knew who sent the intruder, but just strung me along anyway, Liz? I didn't have a choice. I didn't know what to do. Wanted everything to just go on and flow on, because it was convenient. Convenient? I got the perfect life. Prominent husband. 
You don't lack oh, for a thing. Oh, damn. You think I'm having fun? I'm really driving You have no in. idea what it's like living like this. I didn't like that line. I, just to, on the record, I did not approve of that. That was rude. <laughs> v? Are you still with me? What if you're just saying what they programmed you to say? Just reading off a script based on thoughts planted in your head. All I know is I love my husband and I want him to be safe and and happy. Or that's what they want you to know. You know what Jeff will do if you tell him? I know my husband. He'll start looking on his own. He can't find out about this. It... It'll destroy him. These two options look exactly the same to me. Do you want to keep living a lie Jefferson ought to know? And, I mean, it sounds, it sounds like either way we tell Jeff, no matter what we pick. You think Jeff will pick a fight he can't win? You think if I tell him everything that I'll go and pick a fight he can't win? I don't just think. I know. One thing hasn't changed. Jeff's still a fighter. And he'll go down swinging. Huh. So how do we play this? I'm going to tell Jeff that SSI was spying for his rival, Holt. You just need to confirm what I say. Uh, prepare to fire SSI. And if I'm not on board? You have a choice. Just remember, any consequences will not be yours to deal with. Truly prepared to fire SSI? After the threats? It'd be brave, but risky as I'll get out. What they're doing to us is one thing, but when you found that concealed room, I can't accept strangers spying on us while we sleep. Not under my own roof. What difference does it make where? I'll take full responsibility for anything SSI goes on to do. I'm just asking you not to get Jefferson involved. Mm -hmm. I'll add a meeting in Reconciliation Park to Jeff's schedule. He'll be waiting. Since I can't know if I'll remember this conversation tomorrow, I'm counting on you not to forget what I asked of you. I won't. But that's all I can promise. Will she Goodbye, be able v. to fire SSI then? Oh, Christ. Dude, she's not gonna All be able to- things fucked up, huh? Wouldn't want to be in her pants. Speaking of, overlapping memories, changing personalities. Remind you of anything? Yeah. But hey, at least we know what we're up against. No. No, this is different. Saw yourself. They're purposely modifying their minds' individual thoughts. Mm-hmm. Paralysis make a damn nice next-gen puppet. Even in my day, there were whispers about this kind of stuff. Hmm, Cognitive pattern fluctuators, remote neural re-networking. In layman's terms, gaslighting. The beauty oh. is that everything's fair game. Subliminal TV signals, high-density emitters in your electric toothbrush. You what? name it. Oh my gosh, that's some serious espionage if I can't even trust my electric toothbrush. Paralysis, here we come. Oh, yeah? It doesn't matter what you tell him. It doesn't matter what you think of doing or do. You can't change anything. What? We know who you are. We know what you are. We know what you want. You are playing with fire. Don't dare cross the line. Damn. Fuck. That makes me want to cross the line. I want to cross the line. But they're in my head. I never turned off the radio beacon either. Oh shit. Hello, V. Hello. Is this even Jefferson? Oh shit. Ah, I'm so nervous. Uh, should I save? Avaya Vai says, cross the line. Kree says, look to your far left in the balcony. Left from Jefferson. Lefterson from Jefferson. Who's this? Mr. Blue Eyes. Who the frick is Mr. Blue Eyes? Wanted for classified. That's him? Is that the guy who called us? Is there a way to get to him? There's even a little green marker on my... 
Map. How would I get to him? Should I shoot him? Should I shoot him from here? Oh, no! What if I murder him? Can I? Oh, I can't. Oh, wow, I cannot. Is this weird? I can't see. Where's, like, the middle point of my gun? Come on, just, just point your gun at him. You motherfucker! Okay, you can't kill him. You guys, you can't- you can't kill him. It's impossible. <sighs> Alright. Well... We spotted this guy over here. Mr. Blue Eyes. I know he's watching. God damn it, let's sit. Need to talk. Maybe Jefferson knows. Yes, I know. Elizabeth filled me in. Sounds like I was right to hire a professional. Elizabeth, what did she tell you exactly? Didn't get specific. Just that SSI was spying for that son of a bitch Holt. Guess you got more though. SSI wasn't working for Holt. You're in deeper shit than you think. Meaning? They're in your heads, pierced your brains. You're a virtuous politician. Doesn't that make you wonder? Let's say this. Isn't it weird that you're a virtuous politician candidate? <sighs> Flattered, but no. I'm far from it. Though I try my best, what's this got to do with anything? How many people can honestly say they don't strike deals with gangs or take eddies from corps? A lot, I'd like to think. They just haven't introduced themselves yet. Almost like this city doesn't deserve somebody like you. I'm not paying you to make up riddles for me, so get to the point. Okay. SSI's on the take of some unknown group that's out to control your lives. Shit, he doesn't believe us. Uh, someone's conditioning you remotely. They want you as their mayor. Customize your perfect child. No, there's a concealed room in your pad? Out with it. They've got tech in there you wouldn't believe. These people know everything about you and your wife. Watching your every move. <sighs> I so desperately want to push the envelope, have them come to terms with the fact that they're being controlled, and do something about it. Someone's conditioning you remotely. They want you as their mayor. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I'm going to say they want you as their mayor. Somebody's hijacked your life. Reset your course, your career. I'll admit, there were a couple of fortunate coincidences, but... They forged your views, personality, even that skepticism that pisses me off so much. Clearly, what they want is for you to be their mayor. Molding you like a clay figurine. Fuck. I need to remember who recommended SSI to me. You do! Your memories... Can't even trust those anymore. Oh, dang it. Do you have some sort of email? Correspondence? I don't know. I've been watching over there. If that's true... I'll never know what's real in my life, and what's a lie, fabricated. Wait, the intruder. I have to find him! No idea how to go about doing that. I guess his blood is in the apartment? You could do a DNA test. Uh, let's say you never will. Trust me, you never will. First, I'll find him. Then I'll find whoever's behind this. Pull the curtain back on these motherfuckers and show them what's what. Don't count on it. They're too powerful. Could show themselves inadvertently if you're patient. I'd try and face up to him, too. Let's say... He should be patient. Could show their hand if you're patient. Wait long enough. 
Or use your mayoral powers if you get elected. Long as you don't forget all this by morning. Sun Tzu's art of war? Feign weakness so your enemy may grow arrogant. Don't see you doing much feigning, Jeff. My god. I have to tell Liz! Oh no! <laughs> Uh, should I tell him that Elizabeth knows everything? I don't know. He might feel betrayed by that. Is there anything else I can do? You've done enough already, V. All that's left to do is wait. Your wife knows everything. Liz? How? Because she's real Figured smart. Figured it out at some point? Elizabeth? No, 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 no. She would have said something. She did. She told him. And he, he said no. You that you're crazy. She told us that, right? Oh my god. This whole thing is gaslighting me now. She was protecting you. It was convenient not to. She feared for your life. Your daughter's life. Who could blame her? Nah. Oh, she's never kept anything from me. And she doesn't scare easily. Believe me. Got an anonymous hollow telling her to keep her mouth shut. So she did what the perfect candidate's wife would do protected her family. I won't let them get away with this. So what now? Still want to be mayor? Well, I'm not about to give up. I didn't run just to... Uh, I'll wait for my window. An opportunity. Then make my move. Isn't that exactly what they want? Well, I'll give them more than they bargained for. Yeah, same with the Aredis. Take care, V. Good luck. Oh, and dang it. Good night. He's gonna die. So, thoughts? Hmm, somehow I doubt it's people who are behind this. Oh! So, aliens. Very funny. You're too young to remember this, but not so long ago, people talked about rogue AIs prowling cyberspace. So, not aliens. Doesn't matter who. What matters is that guy decided to take up the gauntlet. My man. So this is what the community was talking about. This is what you guys were talking about. That the fan theory that um, Mr. Blue Eyes, so, who ready? we happen to scan over there, is actually being controlled by uh. an AI. All right, let's stand. Job complete. Dream on. And we got 13,000 eddies for that. Almost 14. So, our guy is still up here. Should I try shooting him again? See, it just like... And if I do this... Nothing. No dice. I see you! I see you! Oh, whoops. I see you! What the f*** are you wearing? Damn it. You and your stupid Lego haircut. You're gonna get it. I'm gonna get you. Uh, is there a way to get over there? I don't think so. Don't you dare hurt the paralysis! They're good people! Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> if they are even real people. Okay. So we could head over to River or we could try and talk to Ozop, which definitely intrigues me since we have met him before. I want to do it. So Ozob should be just over here. I can't really remember if anything interesting is over here. I'm pretty sure it's just like an abandoned parking lot or something. Oops. Oh, I can't get around the trash on the ground. <laughs> I don't have a high enough vertical. All right. Yeah, there's this like swimming pool here. Hey, ha ha ha. What a coincidence. Hey. <laughs> What, he was just eating three sandwiches? See, you're in your element here. Yeah, well, I love to entertain, put on a show. Could say I'm a clown at heart. Hmm. 
Meaning we ought to keep you far from kids' B-Day parties. <laughs> Can't argue with that! What does that mean? What does that mean he needs to stay away from kids' birthday parties? Is there a history that I don't know about with this man? So it's you I'm fighting? Depends. On what? If you want to get splattered. If so, then lace up. Lay down. Cash and let's have some fun. Okay, I'm not sure who these people are, what the fuck they're doing. Short circuit them. Uh, who else? Like, who the fuck is shooting right now? Are you kidding me? You people, I swear to God. Uh, here, let's contagion this man, I guess. Oh my god, they're, they're literally gonna murder him. Come here, you stupid. What the fuck are you doing? I can't attack these people. I, and I can't shoot either. Well, what in the absolute goddamn hell? What the? Oh, this is an explosive tank? Dude, literally, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are these people doing? He seems completely unbothered. Uh. Oh, here's the other guy. Oh, they didn't let me jump. No! Get information! Okay, I can't double jump either, for whatever reason. I guess maybe I'll try and run a run to this? Oh, there's no stairs. Us is um, in here! Stop maybe I should just us. ignore them? I <laughs> it's so confused. Oh, I think maybe this is a person. I don't know, you guys. They just started blasting. And I have no idea why. It seemed like they were upset with Ozob specifically, but I can't say for sure. It didn't seem like they were firing at me. I thought I could draw the fire away from us, or from Ozob, but I don't know. They're just... I don't know. <laughs> okay, these people are dead now, though. Bullets do nothing to him. Uh, what good will your fists do? You fool! <laughs> okay, um... Sure, we can do it. All right, no sense waiting. Come with me. Come mit mir. Into the pool. I'm gonna lose, aren't I? You I'm gonna try. To start? But uh, yeah, we can mm -hmm. start. Ready as I'll ever be. May the best brawler win. <laughs> I can't. Stop. I'm done. I surrender. This fight is over. V is the winner. Ooh, that, uh, that was a doozy, V. Got me grinning like a goon, ear to ear. Here's your take. You earned every any. Thanks. You're a real bozo. You know that, Ozob? A what? And you're Miss Normal? Don't turn your nose up at me! <laughs> okay. Was it supposed to be that easy? Uh, Coach Fred. Congrats on, wi on winning Pacifica. Heard the other guy had a grenade instead of a nose? God, I love Night City. This place is so frickin' weird. Was it supposed to be more difficult? Uh, and bad stuff, you say, damn, you a badass. Those gunshots reduced his HP, lol. Did it? <laughs> Did, is that what happened? Sergeant says, that was fast. You guys, the beat on the Brad stuff has not been easy. The last person that I fought was this beefcake of a gal uh, from the animals, I assume. There was like an animals run gym. And it took me 
four tries to get her, but maybe that's part of the joke. Like, maybe Ozob is like, it was supposed to be more of a fun fight. I don't know. I'm sorry that you guys got robbed of a cool fight. Should I reload? Hey, you do know that grenade's gonna pop one of these days, right? I avoid it, but someone else... I know, I know. We all die someday. At least when I do, there'll be fireworks. <laughs> I like this guy. Look at his face! Uh, so let me just check if there's maybe another beat on the brat. The beast in me beat on the brat. Go to the final fight. You're getting noticed, V. People can sense that hunger in you, one that can't be sustained. You want everything right now, and if you don't do it, you fight for it. You're a warrior, V, and the warrior's place is in the ring. Show them what you're made of. Knock the bolts out of this training bot. I never fought the training bot, but we could go to the final fight. Oh, it's not very far from here. Okay, maybe maybe we should go to the final fight. Okay, I guess we have to wait. Hmm. What if I can't do this one? Like, what if it was a fluke? Like, what if... Why are you looking at me like that? Okay, they're waiting for us? Me? Okay, there's like this guy here. He has a gun, okay. Shoot. Why is it so quiet? Oh shit, this Balenci- or I don't know what this is. Policium? Are the voodoo boys gonna fight me? I'm actually kind of scared of the voodoo boys. Oh! It's some of the people that we fought before. I fought, uh, Rhino. Yo, Rhino. So you're keeping busy? Next time, I'm wiping the floor with you. You'll see. <laughs> Awesome. I like Rhino. She's funny. She was kind of a sore loser. Oh, and Cesar's here. Cesar. Shouldn't you be putting up a cradle or something? Two days tomorrow. I got time. So Cesar, we fought him and his wife or his girlfriend, his baby mama was pregnant and he bet his vehicle and a bunch of his money. So when we fought him, we won, and I decided to give him back his eddies and keep his vehicle, because I think his vehicle is unique. Um, and I was like, I can earn the money back some other time. And I felt bad for his wife, because she was watching there and like, judging us, basically. Or judging him. Let me see if there's other people that we've fought. Oh, these twins? Well, this was my favorite twins in Night City. They were What's easy up, to fellas? fight. I'm not, I'm not twins. twins. It's, it's just, just me. me. Anyway, I'm fine. Thank you. What are you doing here? Just in case what I die. What do you mean? I came to see the fight of the year. Everybody on the street's buzzing about it. Oh, that's right. Victor's really in Don't let really me down fights. now, you hear? And then... Assign autographs after the fight. Me? Oh, I'm fighting this guy? I prefer to guy? get drunk after a win. Wait, wait, oh. wait. Hold up. You're V? <laughs> if you're going anywhere after the fight, it's the ER. <laughs> to collect whatever's left of you. Oh, I can sit. Uh, why do you fight in the amateur circuit? It's a heavyweight champ doing in the bush leagues. Money problems at home? On the contrary, 
I got so much I don't know what to do with it. That's my problem. You see, I started in the mud and shit. Now I climb too high and my fans can feel it. I gotta show them I'm still a scrappy street kid at heart. And you? You're just the wrong place, wrong time. A scrappy street kid? What, who sits his ass on leather in the VIP area? Not the most convincing underdog story I've heard. I ain't your typical ring fodder. Man, don't make me laugh. One knock to the jaw and you'll curl up in a tiny ball. Probably. My record in the ring's a healthy 47 W's. Zero losses with 20 by knockout. And you look like a 21st if ever I seen one. I've lost a couple times. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> okay, let's see. Who else did we fight? Uh, Rhino. Maybe that's everyone we can talk to? The people outside. Somebody over here? The kid? What the heck? Okay, I'm gonna save now and we'll enter the ring. For reals. And crazy say I hate that freaking guilt tripping kid. Wait, what? The kid is guilt tripping? What? Are, wait, you pointed at something? What is it? Are you a ghost, little kid? Okay, we'll uh, <laughs> we'll go to the ring. So, what now? What now? She says. Ha! <laughs> the title match. You go up against Razor Hughes. Heard of him, haven't you? No. Met him, actually. Don't know what's bigger, his biceps or his ego. Oh, and you're man. surprised. He's a three-time heavyweight champ. Do I even have a shot? Huh. A good question. You could be very good. But this guy, he's a machine. Carbon fiber, titanium bones, hydraulic joints. All optimized by Night City's best bioengineers. I don't know. Maybe Victor will have some tips or tricks. But listen, I'll be honest. It don't look too good for you. But maybe that's better, you know? If Razor's winning anyway, maybe you're looking to earn a little something on it. Like, I can lose intentionally? I'll pass. Hey, hey. You don't even know what it is yet. I can guess. So again, I'll pass. I fight to win. Period. Okay, Jesus, be that way. Alright, so are you two ready to fight? Only one round. What? One round! All it's gonna take for you to kiss my feet and beg for mercy. Oh no, I'm gonna right. die. <laughs> Shall we? I am so gonna die. I have like no fighting skills in this game. Like I don't know how to dodge. I don't know how to block. I'm ready. Good. Ladies and gentlemen, night citizens, it's time for our heavyweight boat. Facing each other tonight, we have. Tava, what life path did I choose? I'm a corpo. Pokemon in, by the way. I have to sit. <sighs> I wish this song wasn't playing. Oh my gosh, Victor's in my corner? Dude. Hey, hey. how are your spirits before the fight? Low. Honestly, I feel sick. Yeah, he's a tough oh, matchup. No, this is gonna work out. No one's unbeatable, even him. How do you mean? The guy's a tank. Seriously, nanofiber, real skin, shock absorbers. You can knock him on the head with a meat mallet. He wouldn't even flinch. Appreciate the pep talk. Hold on now. I'm not done. He's got a weakness. Had some abdominal muscle swapped out a week ago, and they haven't taken to him fully just yet. <laughs> you hit him there, it's gonna hurt a lot. Okay. Thanks. Make it quick. Keep it in mind. Abdominal muscle. You two ready? At the gong. I have heels uh -huh. on. Let's get it. 
Let's start this thing. Oh, shit. May the best brawler win! Oh. Oh. Oh, snap! Oh, snap! Oh, snap! Oh, snap! Oh, snap! Oh, snap! I am trying, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying! He's down! Now, this fight's over! Victory and the prize belong to V, your champion! You think this is how it ends? Did, did I just let you out my grip? You'd be wise to. Don't think you could take another beating. This ain't over between us. We'll meet again. Tomorrow, next year. This definitely ain't the last. See you around then. I suggest you train in the meantime. <laughs> a loss. That's what I'm telling you. Damn. Okay, we only got 20,000 <laughs> eddies from that, I think. It seems what low. What do you mean, backing out? All of them? I knew this would happen. Shit me. Only the best could be me. Oh, uh, Caesar says only the best could meet him. Aggro, may as well for the biggest fight. I have heels on. Well, it was a chunky heel, so I had that extra balance. I'm surprised you didn't go cyper psycho, psycho after losing. Yeah, me too. Okay, I thought that guy was going to maybe try and murder us after that. I'm glad we didn't fix the fight. That would have been a huge loss. Your implants won't get you anywhere. Or just implants won't get you anywhere. Good to know. It doesn't bring skill to the table. Skill like these hands. Hoo, hoo, hoo. She's so fast. Okay, I thought I was supposed to talk to the coach after this, maybe. And, uh... Okay, so I, I definitely can't talk to the kid if he wants to. Ah! Now that is boxing! That's right, Rhino. Oh, I hope I made her proud! <laughs> uh, should I see... Oh, I can talk to Hail Cesar. Hail Cesar. Shouldn't you be putting up a clue? Oh, I thought he had a new dialogue option, I guess not. Tomorrow. Slick work, V. Thank you, Vic. <laughs> had a good coach in my corner. Heck yeah! Aww, you and your little hobo font tattoo. I love you, man. Congrats! Well done. Really, congrats. Thank you. You guys are so cool. Wow. But I, maybe I should try boxing. <laughs> I feel like everyone celebrates you when you win, and uh, beating them is like kind of fun. Or they take, they take, maybe they all, I don't know. Except that one guy, he tried to shoot me. All right. Well, coming off of that win, I would say that this is probably a good spot to pause tonight's session. Thanks for watching. If you had fun and want to see me again, consider subscribing or joining one of my other social medias like Twitch, Discord, or Twitter. Until next time, Choom.